grab your popcorn and grab you a cold Coke or whatever you drink because this video was just too good not to share. Y'all got to watch this. It's about 16 minutes, maybe 17 minutes long. It is Pinnacle Credit Repair's so-called CEO having a meltdown because a former client that he scammed basically calls him out. So y'all just watch this and just check out how mad this cat gets. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. People don't hire me to collaborate and they shouldn't. That's the wrong thing to do. I recently got a text message of a lady accusing me that I didn't work on her credit when in fact I did, but she didn't do the, she didn't follow the necessary steps in order to get her credit reports. So we had to do other things like use her credit karma or manually file disputes based upon old reports, which worked perfectly fine. Now, here's the thing. We got to talk. It's, it's, really, it's really silly here, okay? There's two categories. Are you a child or an adult? The situation that you're in can be tracked by your behavior, right? Somehow, some way, there is a problem with your behavior that led you in the situation that you are in now. Bad credit. Bad credit is not just something as, oh, I made some mistakes. No, you made some mistakes. And if you do not care about those mistakes, look, listen. If you want an 800 credit score, you need nearly perfect credit. You need perfect credit. Do you know what perfect credit means? It means you do not make a mistake. What is the likelihood of you making another mistake, even if I fix your problems? If you are not educated on how credit works, meaning you need to be coachable. If you're not coachable, if you're going to continuously try to educate me on how credit repair works. All right, guys. All right, guys. What's this fuss about? Let's read this text. So she writes, Credit Karma doesn't provide all three bureaus, as you once mentioned. So how would that be possible? Then she, you know, she's beginning to try to educate me and she's arguing with me already. Well, if you're going to argue with a professional, it's not going to get you anywhere. But if she's not arguing with me, then it's her fault because I try to call this lady, but all she wants to do is send text messages. We all know things get taken out of context through text. Text messages are – they're not a way to communicate things professionally. You want to set up a call. You want to do a presentation, but this person um, refuses to get on a call. And so they're automatically sabotaging the experience here because they're not uh, making it easy for me. It's like people hire me to deliberately make my job more difficult than it already has to be. Our, you know, our process has a process, and the less you want to, the more you want to take away from it, the less benefit you, that you're going to get. So you're going to have to cooperate with us. Also, this whole fraud thing with my card provided to be a major headache, so I need to be careful with who has my card info from this point forward. So she is basically alluding to my score IQ, uh, smart credit, as if they are questionable people that have her card information. This is how stupid this lady is, because she is stupid. She's trying to act smart, but she's actually stupid. That's not cool. Like, I see everything in this position. I know what I'm doing. I deal with this a thousand times more than this person, but their arrogant attitude, they think that they know everything. Ironic because they're the one with the bad credit, right? So she's making it difficult to pull her credit report, not me. That's her fault, right? She's now indicating that smart credit or identity IQ might be a problem with fraud. First of all, if you're not willing to pull your credit report, then you're not going to get updates in the portal, point blank period. Cannot offer my info up at this point as nobody allowed to have access according to fraud department. What the hell is she talking about fraud department? Right? She needs to do what she has to do in order to get things going. Now, the thing is, this lady, she may be involved with the fraud department because she's traveling. She lives in a, uh, I think a, Winnebago or something, I don't know, a mobile home, and she's like on the road 
driving through state lines, through state lines, in and out of state lines. And so, yeah, they're like, why are you here? Why are you there? So that's her issue. If this person never traveled before, then, you know, and mind you guys, she's moved. She moved from Arizona to some other place, Tennessee or Texas, I don't know, Ohio. So she's flipping and flopping around the country, which is a red flag to her bank, but she can easily notify her bank and communicate that with her bank, which she has a problem with doing. Ironic, right? Because your credit is fucked up because you made the mistakes. I didn't make the mistakes on your credit. I'm fixing your mistakes. Uh, it's my job to fix people's mistakes on their reports. I've been in the industry for 12, 13 years. You guys try to own a business like this. Try to own a business like this. Try to run a, a business for, th for this long, dealing with this, dealing with that, dealing with nonsensical clients, dealing with bullshit, dealing with threats. Anyone successful will tell you the same thing. There's always going to be bullshit clients that think they know what they're doing. But listen, the reason why you're seeking help on YouTube is because you do not know what you're doing. You're never going to get anywhere in life unless you help someone. And this is why we have a professional service. Imagine all the people that fucked up their credit. They're trying to DIY things. It's like, let me DIY my therapy. No, no. If you have a problem, you need to seek out a professional to work with them, and then they engage in the therapy. It's like, let me DIY my fitness goals. No. Listen, I'll give you an example, myself included. I'm a fighter, okay? I compete, I train, I spar nearly every single day. But guess what? I'm not competing with the guy in the mirror. I'm not competing. I'm not training. I'm not consulting with the guy in the mirror. Or unless I'm not going to go anywhere. When I go to the gym, I have what you call a coach and a coach filled with other coaches from different backgrounds and other students. Even my students, even, even fellow students, I consider myself a student of the game. Depends upon the level. I don't learn from people that have bad credit. Actually, I do. But what I'm, my point is, I'm not learning how to repair credit from you. Okay. I've done my time. I put my hours in and I've gotten my results, my playlist right here. And this recent update, this is, this is the same client. I'll give you this example right here. This is the same client that accused me of not working on her credit because she couldn't open up her smart credit because she couldn't open up her identity IQ or whatever, because this lady is living in a mobile home, traveling the world. And every time she goes to a different place, her credit card gets an alert. And then she thinks it's fraud. No, your behaviors of moving around the country, different networks, different areas, it looks like you are the one engaging in fraud. And then me and my IP address and my devices trying to access your credit it's not a red flag, but it is a security precaution. This little problem, this lady escalates to be so high. Listen, lady, stop fucking moving around and get your file open. Don't blame people. And here's the thing about fraud. There's, there's times where customers are like, identity theft. I don't want to give you my personal information. Look, idiot. No one wants your identity if you have fucked up credit. People that are stealing identity, it's like you're going to a house with nothing in it. Bitch, you have no credit. Nobody wants your shit. Well, I can't say no one, but you're on the low, you're at the bottom of the food chain, the totem pole. You're at the bottom of the totem pole. People that are targets are like Elon Musk, rich people. People have assets. It's like, since when do you go to the projects or a ghetto neighborhood, a poor neighborhood, like a trailer trash. Since when do you hear a trailer park got robbed? Because they don't got anything in there. They're broke. Unless they're a crack shack. That's an asset. Fentanyl. Crack. Yeah, that's an asset because you sell it for profit. That's different. But the vast majority of people don't have these assets. Credit is an asset. You don't have any big credit cards. So don't worry about it. You need to educate yourself on how identity theft works, and that's why we're here. But me dealing with 700 clients on a work caseload, I don't got time for prolonged bullshit text messages like this. If you're a client of mine, which a lot of you guys already know, because this is one of the only problems I have with the client. I'm not going to tell you her guy's name or anything. I'm not going to put her on blast, but she knows who I'm talking about if she sees this. It's a lesson for you and for other people, all right? 
Don't send me a storybook and a fucking text message. All right? Make, don't make my job more difficult. Don't make things more difficult for people. If you want to excel in life, if you want to move forward, start thinking about other people. Don't make things difficult for other people. All right? Think about, take, take five minutes to think, how can I make it easier for my teammates? How can I make it easier for everybody else? Stop thinking about your fucking self. All right? Start thinking about other people. Taking their lives into consideration. How can I make it easy for Andre? And when you do that for me, guess what? I'm going to help you more. You get more out of it. You get more out of life when you can create more solutions for people. If you want to be a positive person like me, I consider myself a capitalist. I'm a capitalist. I'm able to help people create solutions. I provide solutions for people and I capitalize on it. It's fair game. It's the free world. As said before, I have lots of clients, specifically approximately 700 clients. Now, amongst those 700 clients, there are people that are very educated and pretty wealthy. Take, for example, my client right here. Can't disclose the name pretty VIP client on the top of the list, paid me $5,000 without hesitation because he saw the value of the service. Actually, he did the proper research and very quickly he was able to understand that we are the real deal. This person that is worth multi-millions, his house is worth $4 million alone. Could you imagine the other assets that he has? He's in real estate, very top guy, top level guy here. These people don't play, all right? These are business owners. These are sharks. They're not little peon idiots that want to cause drama, that want to bitch about their identity IQ or my score IQ. Guess what? Fix the problem. I don't want to hear it. This is a business. I'm not your friend. All right. This is a professional business. And I've made the mistake of treating some clients like friends where they just want to take advantage like this person right here. So now you're on blast. You're on notice. You know exactly who you are. And this is a message for any prospecting clients that want to hire me. Guess what? I have news for you. I don't want you as a client. I don't need you. I have people paying me 10 times the amount of money that you will pay me and not give me any headache. And they will be highly agreeable and coachable. Those are the things that I need from you guys if you want to work with me. I don't need your business. I got lots of business already. So don't give me stress. Another example, this client right here, we got a bankruptcy. We got a bankruptcy removed from this client in just like a month. And again, she was doing the whole thing. Like, let's try to coach Andre. No, you don't coach me. You don't teach me how to fix credit. It's the other way around. So you guys got to check yourself. Like my client here, she knows who she is and my other client. All right. I got the BK removed for a reason. I didn't follow any bullshit on YouTube. I don't go on YouTube to search how to do my business. Otherwise I wouldn't be considered a professional and well-respected amongst lots of other professionals. There's a reason why badcredit.org has put me on the top 12, top 10, top list, even mentioning my company. We don't even pay them. If you want to compete with the top dogs in the business, you have to be good. They don't just mention you for no reason. Other people email them. They shun their emails. They don't listen to them. They reached out to me because I'm the boss here. All right. I'm the underdog out of the list of this 10 top 10 businesses. We're the underdog compared to them. We don't have the manpower like they do, but we can still get results better than they can. So consider that. That needs to be considered and not overlooked. So again, this is a message. I don't have a lot of time. As you can see, I'm sweating here because it's early in the morning. I'm up above you guys complaining about your credit and I'm helping people, tons of people repair their shit. How about that? But I'm still getting my workout in. I'm still on my diet, on my purpose. All right. There's no games here. Do you want to take advantage of the time that you have in this life or do you want to piss it off? and be some negative person that wants to cause drama and wants to make things difficult for people. Don't exacerbate negativity, all right? If I told you to do something, you need to follow it. There's no questions. I don't need your advice, all right? If I, if I needed your advice, I would ask for it. But guess what? You're in the situation that you're in because I don't need your advice. I'm in a position of authority to help you. So let me do my job. You don't go to, you don't go to your job telling your boss how to run the company. That's arrogance. You don't go to the gym as a fat ass telling people that are already fit 
how to lose weight. Are you fucking an idiot or what? This is the backwards mentality. And for those people that don't like my language, that don't like my profanity, guess what? You're soft. No bullshit here. Because your whole life is full of bullshit. Let's eradicate that shit. M thus, moving forward, if you want to join the program, if you want to get results, you need to follow our protocol. And then if you follow our protocol and you don't get results, then you can come after me. But unless there's any serious problem, you don't have the fair right and say so to come after me or make any complaint. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. This program didn't start yesterday or last year or the year before or the year before that or the year before that. Try 13 years of this bulletproof process that we learned from the founders of the greatest credit repair companies that exist today. So take that in mind. My mentors have 40 years plus of experience. What the fuck is your problem? If you want to see a transformation in your credit, the link's in the description below. Winners only. So as you can see, this so-called CEO has a straight meltdown and goes to YouTube and posts it on his channel. Y'all be careful who you hire for credit repair. Have a great night.